Hey guys, we're out at Herman Airport. I got my Nova Jet again. We're gonna do a little more testing with the Monster Jet. This is the 2100 kV version. Uh, winds are pretty calm today, so it should give us a pretty uh, accurate reading of how fast the plane goes in light winds. Ready? Yep. <laughs> Hey, don't forget you only got an 1800 milliamp battery yeah. in that thing too, man. You got a lot more space out here. Yeah, we're running it on a 4S with a 65.5 prop for this run. Okay guys, this is the NovaJet, and if anybody's interested, there are free plans for this plane on our uh, blog site. I'll put a link in the uh, video notes. I'm screaming today, man. <laughs> Still crazy maneuverable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, one more run, keep going. Oh. You're on. Okay guys, we got the GPS on. We're running for five minutes and twenty-seven seconds. Three point six one miles. Wow, top speed 121 miles an hour today. It seems faster than it was last time. Yeah, this is a different battery, so maybe the battery's a little bit uh, better. Yeah. So the that's one a, that we had in there last time was one of my old ones, it was like a couple years old. Yeah, so 121.8 miles an hour on a 4S uh, pack Sweet. with uh six five point five prop. Awesome. All right, guys, that'll pretty much finish out the initial testing of this uh, Monster Jet motor, the 2100 kV prototype version. Um, I was really impressed with the numbers it uh, produced on this uh, old Nova Jet plane that I have. This is my old plane. It's pretty beat up. I've been running it for over three years. Uh, it's been in several crashes, but uh, still performs really well, uh, especially with the right motor like this. Um, it definitely seems like it uh, performed a lot better when you switch the ESC over to high timing. So um, definitely do that if you have an ESC that's programmable. And it did seem to handle the 4S with the 6.5.5 prop okay. Um, this right here is the bigger 7.5 prop, or 7 by 5 prop. Um, on a cold day, it did get a little bit warm, not very hot at all. Um, on a hot day, on the 4S pack, it'll probably get a little hot. So you might want to watch it if you're running it on a hot day when they do finally come out. Um, but basically, I'm very happy with the performance of the motor. It seemed pretty reliable, even on the 4S. So uh, stay tuned for... Uh, more of that motor uh, being uh, tested out on some of the other planes that we got. 
Okay, guys, that pretty much finished up the video portion on the uh, Monster Jet that I tested out with the Nova Jet. Uh, real quick, I just want to go over some of your guys' ideas that you left in the uh, video notes during our last uh, drawing giveaway. Uh, seemed like a lot of you guys were suggesting that we do some sort of trainer aircraft or beginner aircraft. And I think that's a really good idea. Um, I'm probably going to be getting into that probably in the next few weeks. Um, I'm thinking uh, along the lines of making something kind of like a, um, a J3 Cub or something similar to that, something that's very easy to fly. Um, that will probably be on our Die Hard RC Addicts channel though. Um, when I do it, I don't want to um, kind of dilute the uh, topic on RC Foam Fighters. I want to keep RC Foam Fighters more for um, kind of the fast park jets and uh, stuff like that. So look forward to that trainer aircraft that's going to be on our Die Hard RC Addicts channel. Um, a lot of you guys also were suggesting that we do a really big plane. Um, I definitely like that idea too. So I've been drawing up some different plans, trying to get an idea of what type of plane I want to make. Um, but look forward to that. I'm going to be getting into that probably in the next month or two. So um, there's probably going to definitely be some sort of big plane coming out. So stay tuned for that. And um, also, I've got a, a few um, park jets, you know, kind of similar to this. I'm going to be making out of foam board and also probably get into some more EPP planes um, coming over 2012. And if uh, any of you guys still have more suggestions, go ahead and feel free to put them in this uh, video notes down here below. Um, also, I'm thinking maybe some uh, Warbirds might be cool, some World War II style planes, maybe a P-51 Mustang or even a Spitfire or something else. You know, you guys definitely uh, let me know what you think about that. Uh, but basically, I guess that'll uh, cover it for now. Stay tuned, guys. There's a lot more coming up for RC Full Fighters in 2012.